YouTube, so it's Allure here, and this is going to be a smoky eye tutorial. This was requested by Huna Banuna, I think that's how you pronounce it, sorry if I just like, killed your name there. Um, I'll have her name in the um, bottom bar. And yeah, so she requested a not too dramatic smoky eye for the evening, so I think that this is perfect because what creates the dramatic likeness, I guess you could say, is how you shape the eye. If you do it winged, it's going to look very dramatic. But if you just keep it nice and round like this, it's not too bad. So, this is the look. The lips, the cheeks, the eyes. So stay tuned if you want to get this look just like I did. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is apply a base. I've applied my homemade primer for my lid to my brow bone. Then you're going to be taking a flat shader brush and your Coastal Sense 88 color eyeshadow palette and you're gonna take your shader brush and dip it in the second silver right here and apply that to your lid Like that. You can apply more if you want to, but because this is an evening look, you don't want too much of a dramatic look. Now take your shader brush again, and you're going to apply this mattish, grayish silver right here, below the color you just put on. It's right here. Okay, let me focus in on it for you. And apply that. mainly in the inner third of your eye and then spread it out use packing lotions too that'll stipple more color on for you there then you're going to be taking the top silver above the second above the first silver you put on and you're going to take a crease brush your tapered crease brush. Get that onto your brush and put that in your crease. And what makes your looks dramatic is the shape of the eye. This eye's not going out in a wing, it's staying round, so that makes it less dramatic. Next, you're going to be taking this matte black, and it's very sheer when it gets into your crease if you don't pack on too much color. And you're going to be putting that into your crease. It's not too matte, but it's pretty matte. Put it in half of your crease. And then on your outer third of your eye. I should come out like this. The lines look very harsh, but they'll be blended in. Wipe off your crease brush so when you're blending, you don't blend the black into the whole part of the silver. Now I'm going to reuse my crease brush because it's very fluffy and big. I'm going to be blending in the black and the silver. Make sure your brush is wet when you're blending. You can spray thick splash with a little bit of water. This will help blend and make the colors more vibrant. Like that. Next for a highlight, take your highlight brush and take the first color in the whole Coastal Scents palette, which is a white. And you're going to apply that to your brow bone as a highlight and drag it into your tear duct. This is pretty pigmented. Like that. Now take an eyeliner brush. This is just ones I got, one I got out of the clears kit. And you're going to take any of the silvers. I'm taking the second one again. And you're going to be dragging that under your eye. Instead of using a liner and making it overly dramatic for the evening, just drag one of the sh shadows. It'll be less dramatic and a lot more shimmery.
like that. Now you can blend the eyeshadows in again if you have to. Now curl your lashes and hold the lash curler there for three seconds. One, two, three. Now you're going to be taking your Maybelline Pulse Perfection but Vibrating Mascara and you're going to press this button to make it vibrate. Mine is in very black. I'm just going to apply that with the vibrating motion to my mascara, to my lashes. Now apply it to your bottom lashes if you'd like. But do it without the vibrating motion so that way you don't get it all over under your eye. So that's the eye look. And now for cheeks, you're going to be taking your MAC blush, the mineralized blush and hand finish. And you're going to be taking your e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush, which is also great for blush, and apply that to the apples of your cheeks. It'll give you a nice glow. You don't want anything too dramatic since your eyes are already kind of there. Now for lips, apply a moisturizer, which I did my Burt's Bees. Don't mind that. That's just the label sticky stuff. Then your Viva Glam Gaga lipstick, which is a bubblegum pink. I'm not going to reapply this because it's already really on there. And then any pink lips, lip gloss that's a little bit deeper than the lipstick. And you'll get this kind of lip. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that look. I worked very hard on it. And if you try it out, tell me in the comments and leave a video response. So comment, subscribe, and yeah, see you later. Bye, guys.